Welcome back to TK Tennis. So what's the difference between an ATP Tour player ranked in the top 40 versus those ranked in the top 10? That's what we're going to find out in this new series as I assess the top 40 ATP pros. Let's begin the countdown to number one with Talon Griekspor. A quick look at Talon Griekspor. He's ranked number 37. He's up three spots. His win-loss record this year is 28 and 25, and he's made $1.46 million in earnings. His career win-loss ratio is 88 wins and 89 losses with two titles, and his career high ranking was 21, and he's 28 years old, and his height is 6'2". So let's assess Talon's game. Going into the assessment, I have it broken down into four categories, essential tennis attributes, ETAs, shot-making quality, character traits, and the outlook. So let's jump into essential tennis attributes for Talon. Starting off with agility, when I talk about agility, I'm talking about body agility, I'm talking about stroke agility, and I'm talking about footwork. Agility is incredibly important in today's modern game. And when I mark these labels as average, excellent, or elite, there's nothing average about a world-class athlete except when you compare them to their other peers in the top 100. And that's what average means. So it's not a knock against the player if they're just average, it just means they're average compared to their peers. And when it comes to agility, Talon is average. He certainly doesn't have the agility of someone like Sinner or Alcaraz or t even Tommy Paul. These guys have exceptional agility and I would call Talon average. He's not a lanky guy, and his agility is just not exceptional or even excellent. Speed is the same thing. He's not incredibly fast, and he gets an average here. He's certainly not nearly as fast as someone like Alcaraz or Demonauer or many other of the top pros. In terms of power, though, he gets an excellent. He has easy power on his forehand, on his serve, and it's certainly above average. Now, moving on to clutch mentality. He's average. Now, you might remember the statistic I showed you where he's 88 wins and 89 losses in his career. And if you're a top 40 pro and you want to be in the top 20, you need to be able to win the clutch points. You can't do that and be a top 40 player. So his clutch mentality is average. However, on competitive spirit, I give him a resilient. He's very consistent no matter what tournament he's playing in 250s, 500s, 1000s, or Grand Slams. He's a very good competitor no matter where he's playing around the world. He doesn't have these ups and downs, and his competitive spirit is very resilient. In terms of shot making quality, his forehand is excellent. You can almost argue it's elite. He can hit winners at any time from anywhere on the court, and he has easy power. The same goes for his serve. It's very underrated. It's excellent. It's almost borderline elite, but his serve falls into that excellent category. His return falls into the in-between this average and excellent category. You would say it's an excellent return because of its consistency, but he has trouble putting the server on the defense, sometimes on second serves. He's not very aggressive on his returns. And of course, in today's game, the return is incredibly important. His backhand is not a weapon, and that's why he gets an average. It's very consistent. He can hit winners when he's in the right position, but it's compared to his peers, it's average. Drop shots are in between average and excellent. However, volleys are excellent. He's very confident at the net, and his overheads are elite. He's very comfortable on his overheads, and you might be thinking all top 40 pros have elite overheads. That's not true at all. You would go right to Novak Djokovic, the greatest player of all time. He's admitted to not having a very a, an exceptional overhead, and his overhead would be considered average. But Talon's overhead is elite. Going to character traits, his career commitment is dedicated. His on-court temperament is measured and focused. His sportsmanship is ex exemplary, and his ego is humble. He has all the great character traits to be a excellent ATP pro. So what's the outlook for Talon? Can he be top 20? It's highly unlikely. His high ranking is 21. He's 37 right now. He's playing great tennis, but I don't see him getting into the top 20. And then moving on to tiers, what tier of player is he? As a top 40 player, he falls into the formidable tier. Now you might be thinking, what are these tiers? It's real simple. If you're an elite player, you've won Grand Slams and you can win Grand Slams again. You are elite and that's a very small bucket of Sinner, Alcaraz, Djokovic, and maybe Medvedev. Even though I'd put Medvedev right now in that contender category. 
The contender bucket is also very small. It's those players that could potentially win Grand Slams or on the verge of knocking on the door of winning Grand Slams. You might think Alexander Zarev is a contender. Um, that would be an argument to make. Someone like Holger Roon probably should be a contender, but he's certainly not. And then there's the premier category. This is most of the players that are perennial top 20 players that are premier, but they'll probably never win Grand Slams. And then everybody else from 20 to 50 is formidable. The top players are not playing incredibly well. They can beat you on any given day, and they're for very formidable, and you should not take them lightly. And that's where Talon falls into. So can Talon win Grand Slams? No, absolutely not. Second or third round is about the best you can expect. Remember, he's a 500 player throughout his career. And if you ever noticed, if you're a top 40 or top 50 player, that's where you are. You win about, for every match that you win, you also lose a match. You're a 500 player. So it's impossible to consider a 500 player to be able to go on a run and win seven matches in a row for a Grand Slam. So will he rise or will he fall? I think he's going to rise, but it's going to be limited. Maybe around the top 30, right around 30, top 25 at best. But at 28 years old, father time is ticking away, and it's going to be hard for him to maintain something in the top 30 or even top 25. So that's my assessment for Talon. Stay tuned for number 39 coming up. And if you like these assessments, please like and subscribe and leave me some comments on what you thought. And please be constructive in the comments and not throw too much shade. And I will see you in the next ace.